Eight of them have at one time or the other bore the brunt of this vicious and violent trend. What happened was I uh, went to answer the, uh, what my mommy calls, the call of duty in the toilet. And then so I went there, but then this, uh, what my mommy calls a uh, abeng, came up to me and stood next to me. And he just kept staring at me until I couldn't pee. Which is why the ministry without portfolio is taking a very dim view of sterilism and also implementing new measures to combat this threat. As a ministry, it is our job to educate the young people about the danger of staring. We have consulted with the public and come up with a set of guidelines and useful tools, such as this chart. Let me show you. From 0 to 0 0.5 seconds, we call this a glance. This is okay because sometimes when we take, sometimes when you take the escalator up to the MRT station or the shopping center, you do this. Next, we have the 0 0.5 to 2 seconds. This one we call a quick look. This one is also okay because a lot of married men do this to other women when they go shopping with their wife. Next, we have from 2 seconds to 5 seconds. This one is called just looking. It is a bit dangerous, but it is okay. Then, above 5 seconds, this one we call staring. It is important to immediately look away and try to defuse the situation by acting as innocent and well as possible. We have found through research that looking up at the birds in the sky or at the bird below is very effective. But will simply looking down on the ground or up at the sky be a viable solution to sterilism? At least one person we spoke to doesn't think so. Hey guys, sit closer. <laughs> You know, uncle at my age, got experience, got knowledge. Uh, then you know, uh, I don't need look up, I don't need look down, just look straight, already can. And this is Carmen Noble. Mm. Back to the studio. The news has learned that a faulty playground at Angmo Kyo has upset many residents there. According to our sources, a verbal spat has now broken out between the company that installed the playground and the town council that owns it over who is ultimately responsible for the safety of the kids who play there. Let's cross over to our reporter for the story. An 11 year old Afendi Talib and his parents moved to Sarangoon last week and he was thrilled that there was a playground right in front of his block. Just like he has done for the past 10 years, Effendi went down to the playground for his 30 minutes of fun last Friday. What happened next turned out to be one of the most harrowing and longest afternoons of his life. I was hoping to make my land speed record coming down the slide. When I, uh, when I sat down and tried to move, I got stuck. This has never happened before. I couldn't move, I couldn't stand up, it was so hot that after uh, 45 minutes of being stuck, I fainted. I, I was going to die. Fendi was rescued by two residents in the vicinity who were on their way to buy 4D lottery tickets some two hours later. Apparently, this is not the first time a child has fallen victim to this playground. About a dozen other children have either been hurt or stuck while engaging in some innocent fun. Exactly who is responsible for this sad state of playground affairs is indeed...